Hi everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 on PC, and I've got a nice little mod here for you. Um, and it creates and gives you a slightly better and more immersive first person view. So I'm in the vanilla first person view here, but if I activate this mod, what happens is you can see more of your character. And also, you can have a, uh, a free look as well. So normally what happens when you look around, your whole body is turning around basically. But with this, you can assign a cat key and you can look around uh, like a free look. Like the game should have anyway, shouldn't it? Like this. It's quite a subtle mod. In fact, if I look down and I change, uh, so if I turn the mod off, see, so that's the vanilla look. And then if I were to do, see, I'm doing a free look. I kind of, my body hole changes. But when I turn the mod on, we go in and then if you press the, the hot key, we can then look around. So it's a, it's a little bit nicer way of uh, looking around. And I, I quite like it. Okay, so how do you install it? Well, uh, what you want to do is you'll need Cyber Engine Tweaks already installed, um, which is kind of the core of lots of mods with Cyberpunk uh, 2077. And obviously you'll need to have Vortex installed as well, unless you want to do everything manually. I will put a link in the description below this video to how to download Vortex, the um, immersive first person uh, mod the uh, cyber engine tweaks uh, mod uh, link as well and also my video on how to get vortex working and basically get get cyber engine tweaks working first and basically when you get cyber engine tweaks working if you haven't already the first time you boot up uh, cyberpunk 2077 it'll ask you for the hot key to um, to enable it so make sure you write that down somewhere um, and then when you've installed immersive first person uh, via vortex and enabled it and um, what you'll need to do is go into Cyber Engine Tweaks and then give it a key binding. So otherwise it won't work. Now let me show you. So we're in um oh, hello, I've pulled my gun. Let's um, put that away with B, isn't it? It puts away your gun. So so there's Cyber Engine Tweaks. I've brought that up. And then if you go to hot keys and you scroll down, you see here we go, we've got immersive first person. Now I've bound it to shift and right square bracket. And that turns the mod on and off. And so with that on, you know, when you look down, you see more of your body and that sort of stuff. But if you want to do the um, look around uh, toggle as well, you need to go to input on Cyber Engine Tweaks and then put the free lock on. Now I've to toggled it to F. Now I think there's nothing else on F. <laughs> <laughs> so that should be alright, I could be wrong. So one of the tricky things is with lots of these mods, when they need to have a key binding, is just choosing something that doesn't um, conflict with something else. Um, and the critical thing though, with Cyber Engine Tweaks especially, is to make sure that you have your uh, Cyber Engine Tweaks hotkey, so for me it's shift and forward slash, written down. Because when you go into Cyber Engine Tweaks, it'll have probably have lots of the uh, key bindings that you've assigned. So if you've forgotten what they are, you can look here and then you can um, you can um, you can you can access them and remember which ones they are. So let's so what we do is we would save that, we'll come out and then we can look around and we can press and then we've got the free look. Now it is a little bit buggy this mod, and sometimes things do get kind of stuck a little bit. But normally, if you come in and out, hello chaps, how are we doing today? Doing all right. If you if you come in and out of it, that normally sorts itself out. So a nice nice little mod that doesn't add loads to the game, but just adds that little bit of immersion by enabling you to have a free look, so you can look around without actually turning around. And then when you look down, you can see. Um, you can see more of your body. There we go. Let's activate it there. Okay, so hopefully you found the video useful. If you have done, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.